next time on the D-League. We're playing the worst team in the league today, so we'll be able to pad our stats a little bit, and nothing can go wrong. Hey, Corbin, can I have some clear tape? Again? What happened to the role I gave you last week? Can I have some clear tape? What do you mean? It had barely any on it to begin with. It's done. He does this every time. He uses way more tape than anyone should and never brings his own. I'm cutting you off. You're done. You're cutting me off? I'm our best player. What do you Fine. mean? You want clear tape? Take it, okay? Take it off. Oh, what the A lot of tape in here, man. Bullshit. Next time on the D League. All right, Grady didn't show, so we're down a guy. A Corin, gonna need you to play on defense today. I played D last week. Seriously? It's just that I play D every week, and I move forward. Whoa, chill guy. Look <laughs> at all the ice time you're gonna get. Bull I'll play D. Get more ice time, get the puck more, get to be a little cheap in the corners, get to be a little lazy sometimes. 100% I'll play D. Thanks, Jesse. I will trade every single one of you! Next time on the D-League. Obviously the NHL trade deadline is here, but I don't think we give enough attention to the beer league deadline. I need pucks, actually. I just, <laughs> we don't have any pucks. Clear tape? You have any clear tape? You just send us some full water bottles even? Like just a bag of pucks. So if you can just give me anybody that'll show up to a game, we're usually out there with six guys. And it's a tough job because unlike NHL GMs, uh, these guys are your teammates. They're your friends. Here's I'm trading you. Guys. You can't trade me. I will trade every single one of you. I can't give up Luca for that. I can give up Jesse. If you take Jesse, I can give you Luca. Business is business, and we want to make the playoffs. Big day. We got pucks again. Woo! All right. One for everybody. Yeah. Man, that's awesome. How'd you pull that off? I traded your brother, actually. For a bag of pucks? Everyone makes the playoffs! What do you mean a playoff push? Next time on the D-League. So, things have been a little rocky since I traded Luca's brother. What the hell, man? You traded my brother? He's my ride home! I don't know what to tell you, man. If you want to make a playoff run, we need pucks. We gotta be able to warm up. Everyone makes the playoffs! What do you mean a playoff push? We're in the playoffs! That's actually true. I didn't think about that. Oh, uh, one sec. You you can't come, man. We kind of need you. I just I just traded away Luca's brother. Okay. Uh, okay. So, Luca, uh, can your brother actually still come? We're gonna be short guys today. Seriously. Next time on the D-League. Luca's had a really good start to the season, but he's uh, he's feeling a little too confident lately. Hey, good game, guys. Way to battle. Good win. Corwin, what the hell? I was open there. You're open? I'm always open. You're banging your stick all game behind, like, three guys on the other team. Man on, man on. You can't give a good player a bad pass. You were banging your stick on defense. The one time I passed you the puck, you didn't even get it. <laughs> Corwin, you just can't pass. Yeah, that's true. Hey, get back on D! Next time on the D League. Eric never backchecks. Every week it's something different. 
He's either making terrible line changes. Yeah, one, one, one. Puck was too far, no way I'm skating after that. Or chatting with the referee behind the play. How are the kids? I got no kids, so. Oh, what? Oh. And one time, I saw him swiping right on the blue line. Who does that? And the worst part is, he doesn't even realize it. What? Defense, boys, come on. Boys, I'm taking high. You guys gotta get back quicker. Where's the D on that one? Come on, get your man. Oh, D, what was going on today? Your liabilities all game. Maybe if you weren't looking for a new girlfriend all game, loser. Eric, you're a squid, bud. It's four in the morning, Corwin. Stop calling me. Next time on the D-League. Ever since our season got paused, Corwin has lost his mind. Okay, well, we're down one nothing in the playoffs. If I switch Jesse back to the third line, all of these lines suck. He's constantly calling us to make sure we're doing our workouts and getting ready for playoffs. The season will come back, and when it does, we will be ready! It's honestly getting ridiculous. He calls us at the crack of dawn to make sure we're eating right and spending at least two hours a day on drills. Corwin, I'm showering, what? Oh my God. If the season doesn't resume by June 15th, it's over. Damn it, that sucks. Well, better get training for next season.